Now I'm going to show you how to use the 4-1 rule. It's similar to the 3-2 rule, but instead of using it for an element alternating between things, it's going to be existing elements changing. This might be, again, orientation, size, colour or anything. In the 4-1 rule, we'll group elements into two groups, a group of 4 and a group of 1. Now the group of four might be an element appears in four and doesn't appear in one, or it might be one colour in four of them and a different colour in the other one. The group of one will be at the start or the end of the series. This will give you a starting point to try and work out the rest of the pattern. I have an example here today. So as you can see, the cross appears in the first, second, third and fifth, but it doesn't appear in the four. That means when we group it into the two groups, the first, second, third, and fifth will be in the group of four, and the fourth will be in the group of one. Therefore, the fourth one is at the end or the start of our series. So we can place this in our order. Now, you can also see that the circle appears in the first, second, fourth, and fifth in the series, but it doesn't appear in the third. Now using the 4-1 rule, this must appear at the end, so we can also place that in our order. So now we can track an element. So if we start with the number 4, we might want to follow the circle. The circle moves from the top left to the top right in number 1, and then moves around as so. We can fill in the order. And now we can check this for the other elements and we can see that the correct order for the problem is 4, 1, 5, 2 and 3. So the solution to this question is the fifth image. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out my next video on superimposition questions.